The Labor Department reported today that one million manufacturing jobs have been lost in the past six months. I mean, wh there's nothing wonderful about manufacturing jobs. Manufacturing isn't going to pick up until automotive, automotive and uh, housing start to pick up. More workers in the public right. sector now. Manufacturing fell for a 13th straight month in February. So is manufacturing hitting bottom? This legislation will shut down businesses and eliminate blue and white collar jobs. Do you think that unions had anything to do with the destruction of manufacturing jobs? It is cheaper to manufacture things in China than it is to manufacture things in the United States. As the unemployment rate climbs, the younger generation is moving from our area in search of jobs, and they're no longer around to fill the openings. Last month brought the largest increase in manufacturing employment since 1998. Strongest growth in manufacturing in 12 years. The question is now, how do we keep that momentum going? How do we keep adding more and more jobs? I love to sneak a squeeze on the sly. Mr. Whipple, please don't squeeze the shaman. Everything that you touch, unless you're living out in a, a cave somewhere, <laughs> everything you touch has been manufactured. When the, the, the media or the public debate arises around uh, the demand for more jobs, I think what they're really doing is they're reflecting the fact that the old style jobs are going away. And so the um, Henry Ford model for repeatable actions by a worker are being replaced by much higher technology solutions to that same process. That higher technology requires a significantly different worker. The much bigger problem is the lack of qualified workers. We have jobs. I can document jobs all over the place. And the population currently that is looking for jobs simply is not at the level of skills, both in terms of what we call soft skills, the ability to go out, get up every day, go to work, uh, deal with a supervisor, uh, deal with basic communication, math, uh, and reading skills. Um, they, much less the technical skills that they need to fill those jobs. If you're going to be global, then you've got to have uh, people that understand the global environment and can participate in that. That's got to come from your educational system. If you're going to compete and have to generate productivity rates or increases of 10, 15 percent a year, then you better make sure your governmental policies don't get in the way of that happening. Uh, if you're going to be innovative, there has to be uh, actions or tax policies, regulatory policies, people that can drive new products and innovation and R&D. That's not going to come within the walls of a manufacturer directly. They're going to need to be supported by these other elements of the economy.